Hello, hello. Let me show you some more nice stuff you can achieve with the particle system. You can distort images and movies for example, or create a dissolver. I use the grid emitter and apply a noise on top. As you see the noise is set to position and therefore the particles are repositioned in the three dimensional room. As soon as you change the values for the scale properties you see that this affects the particles. This got me on the idea to use a movie instead of a static noise or an image. So I used the texture module and mapped the texture property to a movie clip. The result is stunning. Including shadow and so on. Amazing. So again, just create a grid for example, add a texture module, and set the texture target to position. The orientation is now wrong, so correct this so that the particles change their height position only by selecting axis Y. For the texture we choose now a black and white texture like the cross. You see the white parts of the texture move the particles really up. Cool, let's adjust the remapping maximum and let's select a movie. Okay, once again select the texture module but this time set the output to the AUX1 which is just an auxiliary channel and can be freely assigned. Change the image to a texture property and bind the movie to it. We add a remapper module which allows us to the, use the AUX channel for example and remap to any other available channel. And this is where the real fun begins. We select the remapper and change the source to be the AUX1 and the target is already set to a colon alpha. Nothing big you say, right? At the first look it's nothing special. You can adjust the min max values. Okay, nice. But now select the size as target. And you can see that the video is now scaling the particles small or big, depending on the color or intensity of the source file. Ta-da! And that's the nice thing about the remapper. Great. Still not fancy enough? Okay, great. Here you go. Use the remapper for some more cool stuff. Now I have used the remapper for the size and for the sprite rotation. Again, I'm using a video clip instead of a silistatic image or color. So... The idea is to have the grid, the source image, or in our case video, and this will control the size and rotation of our cross texture. Here you go. The intensity of the texture defines the amount of rotation, also the amount of scale, as you can see by the banding texture here. Now on top I make use of the animation node. Like the name says, I will now animate its rotation. So I changed these values here and the result is only when we have higher intensity or something more than black it will increase the amount value and therefore the sprite will become bigger and rotate faster. The brighter the bigger and faster. Okay, here a rough example, plain black and white. You see, only where we have brightness the sprites will rotate or be upscaled. Same again for our gradient with hard stops. The upper black ones are frozen and the rest are starting to move depending on their brightness. So 
Still not enough? Okay, okay, you got me. Here we go with displacement or repositioning. Having the scaling and rotation is a nice thing, but how about to combine it with a kind of repositioning? We add another remapper and set it to source amount and target position Y operation add. Yeah, looks funny. Let's add some meshes like the cubes. As you can see, both renderers got affected by the modules. Now let's add a gradient. This would change the color of the rendered elements, not by size or rotation. This would change the color for the height or position of them. The more height, the more green they will be. So these things are just for your inspiration. I hope you like this small series about the particle system. Enjoy and be creative. Thanks for watching.